So it's still right, I don't but you can't family. do that in a marriage. You can't say I don't want to be around you or I want to I want to be divorced. Well, see, the problem is that there's no head. there's no real accountability because whoever that person that. is, they was that person before you married them. And so to sit here and act like you didn't choose them or you didn't know what you was getting yourself into, the reality is that in most instances, women and oft, often at times are influenced by outside forces, which then influence how it is that they're going to move within their household when they were just perfectly fine prior to um, leaving, that, leaving that relationship. And so I he her therapist. What you find what you find in most instances is that once a woman starts to get exposed to other outside forces that may look good, but may not necessarily be what we think it is. Often at times they find themselves looking for love and then they post on Twitter on Twitter about whatever it is that they that they looking for when in reality they already had it. So I'm not going for it. Like I'm not going for the whole idea of um, self-love. Whenever I hear a woman say self-love, that's a red flag. That listen, that is a red, purple, green, all com combined together. That is a black flag. That is quite possibly one of the biggest flags as a man. When a woman says self-love, it is the biggest flag that you can listen. That flag is only trumped by her telling you that she had a train ran on her in college. That's the only other flag that's bigger than self-love. Self-love is quite possibly the death of a relationship. When a woman tells you that, Get the hell out. Do not surround yourself with her. Don't talk to her friends. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. Just leave. Leave that hole where you found it. Can I give the definition of self-love? No, we don't need the definition of self-love. Self that's it's not what self-love is. It's like when you it's have self-love, you're able to love your children properly. When you love yourself, you can love your partner properly. You can love well, your no partner. If is you don't love yourself, you don't even know what love looks like. So before we just throw that word out there with no definition, I think it's... But without context... Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin look and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Mm -hmm. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause with counsel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. Not the definition, no, but the context is dysfunctional. And that wasn't self love. We'll no, the, no, the definition of self love is whenever no one wants to love you because of your attitude and your character and your personality and how you don't devalue yourself in society, you tend to use that as a, a way to shield your That's insecurities. There it is. There it That's is. Exactly exactly. It. If y'all want to go with, Really There's a way to shield right. your insecurities to make you feel good about yourself because nobody around you can the make you feel good about yourself. The only time that a woman Bullshit. uses that term self-love is when she cannot hold down a relationship and she cannot hold down a man and her friends don't fuck with her. Okay. In most instances, 20 times out of 20, she is the problem. You know how people always talking about and they say stuff like, yeah, because, you know, if you ain't got a real one and, and all they say all of that dumb shit, right? Most of the time, they're the toxic one. They the toxic friend. The person that says self-love and self-care and all of that, that's the same thing that Jada Pinkett said, right? It's the same thing that all of these people said that was getting fucked and fucking over their marriage at the same time. They're the toxic one. I'm telling you, 
Fellas, listen to me. If you see a woman say self-love, get out of there. Run. Mm -hmm. My leave, thing bro. is self-love is a woman's license to be an idiot and be yeah. stupid. A, a woman is biologically made to love. That is her purpose on earth is to love. B She's Taylor, can I, can I more nurturing than any other creature on the face of the earth. That's her whole that's, oh, she, that's why I said that to the one country cookie girl is because you're going against the nature of who you are. She's yeah. going against the nature of who she is when she says that because she was made literally to be a nurturer. Her whole makeup, body, DNA, everything about her, her womb, See? all yeah. of it is, is made for nurturing. It is you want to talk. You listen, came back to me. The only, listen, the only reason you got titties is so that you can nurture and feed somebody else. That's the whole and purpose of that breast. And I did breastfeed. But what I'm telling I, you I is, get it. Listen, but you're hey, still going to get, you're going against the I'm nature. I'm not going of against that. anything. I never you, said you, I didn't you, love. Y'all are assuming because I'm not married, I don't love. Y'all are biologically light years ahead of us in regardless to the importance of, of, of human beings. When you have a child, the child don't even want nothing to do with the father at all. What well, doesn't want to go near nobody but the mother. And you, if you were a mother, if anybody was on a mother, they won't have no part of the father. Yeah, but, my, my daughter's a, but, a daughter. Hope, a mother's finish, the baby can't love itself. And if right. you do, if that baby goes, do you realize that in the beginning of the uh, 21st century, when they started orphanages, 100% of the babies that were put there died? Not because they were malnourished. They fed the babies. They medicated the babies. But they, they had cognitive, psychological issues, and they died. Like, they just I died. They, 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 no, no, let me not finish. Not, and then you have it. They have uh, you have to be loved. It's very egotistical to sit here and say you just perfect you engage in self love. You're here to love more I than never all. Said that. I never said anything about self love. I said I love me. Did you just hear what you just said? And that I, I was guy, you didn't just say that. Kids, the guy, you didn't just say that. This, that I was worthy. To that most some men just not worthy. That's not what we're talking about. Coming from such a hand, we're actually guy, talking about how great you are. Look, look, right, right. I, I, you missed it. That's like ugly man. You missed it, bro. That's ugly man. You said it again, and I heard it. You said it again, and you skipped over it. She keeps saying some men are not worthy of what? Y'all ugly. Some of you ugly. So you're saying that a guy is not worthy of dating you because the men are ugly? Some of I don't date ugly men. No. So that's that's what you substantiate. Well, hold on. What do what do you rate yourself? Oh, no, 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 no. Bruiser, bruiser, stop, stop, stop. She's saying that men are not worthy of her because men are ugly. Not say men are ugly. Are ugly. Said you said some of us are ugly. ugly. You said some of us are ugly, right? Some men. No, you said I some of y'all are ugly. No, I'm talking about men because you keep saying y'all isn't ladies. I don't so, get offended when you so, say that. No, no, so, no. I'm just trying to I'm trying to understand what you're saying. So Okay, so you're saying that it's purely so it's purely based off of the idea that men don't aesthetically please you. Is that is that what it is? Some men don't. Okay, and so what about the men that do? How are they not worthy? I never said they weren't. That's what the thing is. You, you expected that I, you're saying that, oh, you're not married. And it was this big oh and sound check. And I'm just like, I'm not married because I haven't found somebody. No, worthy. that's not what you said. You said you're not and, married. And, okay, and, and so you, you started out with me saying I don't care, but like I thought it was funny because y'all really think that women sit around you thinking can't. about it that much, and I and I don't. But I said I don't. I can only speak for me. Now, so that I'm means there's a possibility that women brothers. do it though. All of my brothers are older than me, older than y'all. Some, a couple of them. So what I'm saying is, I got taught. This be the, the game, I'm gonna call it the game, not BS, because love is serious. I got taught the game a long time ago. And then my brothers are married, they have wives. That's not what you're doing though. The same thing that women do with their fathers, they validate themselves. You're validating yourselves using your brother's love. That's what you're doing. N no, 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 no. Oh, yes, you are you call them the kings. You said they're blessing. kings. No, my and not my brothers. Them, why they why do you no 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 you're missing it? You're missing it, Ali. She says she's a mother, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So she was worth. So the man was worthy enough for her to give him a child, mm. but, but he wasn't no, worthy. Wasn't. That was an accident. Okay, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. He was worthy enough for you to open your legs to and nut in. Yeah, I was in college. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>